Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. Today we're gonna do a fun little festive Christmas holiday eye look. I really only do like green eye looks when it comes to this time of year just because I'm scared to tackle a red eye look, but this is gonna be the year that I do a red smoky eye. Reds are hard because I feel like a lot of the shadows that I come across that are red shadows are very pink. Like they look red in the palette, but they're pink on my eye, so we're gonna try to tackle a red smoky eye for this holiday season. I'm very excited, but I am a little bit worried, but we're just gonna dive right on in. So if that is something you are interested in seeing, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so eyes have been primed, hair has been pinned back. We're gonna go ahead and get started with this eye look. I'm gonna be taking this Jade and Beauty Bay palette. I've been enjoying this palette recently. I feel like it's a hidden gem that I had in my collection for a while and like didn't realize. And I'm thinking I wanna use this, like these shades all right here to get a nice red, warm holiday eye look. So I'm gonna start with Angel of the North first, I think, which is this deep burgundy red shade. And I'm gonna take it on this Morphe M506 brush. And I'm just gonna put this out here starting from the lash line and just pull it out. This is gonna be the darkest color that we use. And I'm just going up and out in a diagonal shape to really help to lift my eyes. I'm gonna go in with Red Planet now, which is a bit more of a true red, fingers crossed, at least in the palette, it looks like that. <laughs> and I'm gonna take it on a bit of a more fluffier brush. This is a Morphe Ariel A20 brush. It's like a Sigma E25 or a Morphe M433, the same kind of brush as that. And I'm gonna start inside that Angel of the North shade and blend inwards. Shadows in this palette blend so nicely together. Reminds me a lot of the be Perfect and Stacey Marie Carnival XL Pro palette because I feel like it's very reliable. You know, the, the shadows are always gonna work really well with you and with each other. I'm kinda into that. I'm kinda into the way that that looks. I'm gonna add some more Angel of the North to the outer corners just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. I feel like I might have lost it, so I'm just gonna reinstate it really quick. I am gonna go in with a shimmer, I think, just to make this look a bit more festive. I'm gonna take this What's Your Sign Hun shimmer right here. It's like a copper red reflective shade. It's very pretty. And I'm gonna take it on my finger and just pack it on the middle of the lid and then work my way inwards. I don't know how this is gonna go, but you know, I'm just taking a leap of faith here. I don't want this to be a pink look, so I'm using this to kind of really make it that red shade. I feel like this is also just a really gorgeous like holiday shadow. It's got a lot of golds in it, a lot of reds, a lot of just like warm, a lot of warmth to it. I was gonna make this a cut crease, but I like the way that it looks without it being like sharp, if that makes any sense. I feel like it just looks a lot more cohesive. I'm gonna go in with a brush just so that I can get in the nooks and crannies of my eyes. You can use any, you know, flat shader brush that you have. This is a Morphe M421. That's so pretty. A little bit darker than what I normally go for, but I really am not mad at the way that this looks. I feel like it's super, like, super festive. I did go ahead and clean up the edges of this eye look just because I feel like I am happy with the way that it looks. So I'm gonna go in and add some liners really quick. The first one I'm gonna take is a liquid liner. This is the Pro Fusion Cosmetics Wing It On Super Fine Eyeliner in Black Noir. And I'm just gonna do a very basic line with this, not a wing or anything. I just wanna add a nice, thin, line to the top eyelid. I really like this one because it glides on so easily. There's no tugging of my eyelid and there's no like patchiness. And because the, the felt tip is so fine, I feel like it's super user friendly. Like I have very shaky hands, so I get very nervous when I'm doing my liquid eyeliner because I feel like it can go sideways very quickly. But because this is so thin, I have a lot of room like in case I do make errors. <laughs> which I really, really, really appreciate. And then I'll go in and do some tight lining with this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Whatever Black. I'm not gonna show you this because it's really gross, but just in case you are curious what tight lining is, it's just taking an eye pencil up inside that like waterline on your upper lid and just lining with the black pencil. I like to do this and people like to do this because it really helps with the lashes and it really helps to make sure that there's no 
light peeking through when you add a nice pair of lashes. You do not have to do this step. This is just one thing that I prefer doing. It does tickle a little bit, and if you're not used to it, you might feel like very weird, so don't feel like you have to do it. I'm gonna curl my lashes now and add a bit of mascara. Again, if you are doing lashes, this is not uber important. I do like to just darken my lashes as much as possible so that they'll blend in with the false lashes. And if you are someone that does not do lashes and only does mascara, I definitely recommend this mascara. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. It's what I'm going to use right now and it really just lengthens and separates your lashes and makes them look so nice. I am going to go ahead and add some false lashes. The ones I'm going to take are these Lily Lashes and Sephora Collection Lashes in the style Beverly Drive. They're just a really nice cat eyelash, like tapered out lash that really helped to lift my eyes. So these are the ones I'm going to take today. So here is the final eye look, you guys, before we do, you know, the rest of our makeup, our lower lash line, and our lips and everything. I'm going to go do all that stuff off camera and then I'll come back and we can do lower lash line and lips together. So I will see you guys in just a second. All right, you guys, base is done. And now we are gonna go in and finish off the eye look. We're gonna do the lower lash line. Taking my palette again, I'm gonna take the Angel of the North shade, which was the first one that we used. And I'm gonna take a flat shader brush. This one is the Morphe Ariel A19. It's dual ended, but I'm gonna use this side that's a lot flatter and a little bit stiffer, which will really help push the shadow up against my lower lash line. And we're just gonna press this right up against the lower lash line, like I said, and connect it to the outer wing. And I'm only gonna go like halfway in with this. You can go all the way in if you want, but I just find that that's what suits my eyes the best is only going like halfway in. Then I'll take this pencil brush. This is a Morphe M431. It's my favorite one to use because it's very flexible and very forgiving. And I'm gonna take Natural Beauty right here, which is a soft peach shade, not one that we used in the upper lid, but I feel like if I go in with Red Planet, it's really just gonna be a very harsh lower lash line and that's not what I want so I'm going to take natural beauty right here and really blend that angel of the north shade out we don't want any stiffness we want a very nice blown out lower lash line I'm going to take that same Ilia limitless lash mascara and just hit my lower lashes down here and this is really gonna finalize the look here and make everything look so stunning. All right, we're gonna do lips real quick. I'm gonna start with this Morphe lip liner in the shade Honeymoon, and I'm gonna line with this. Then I'll take this Morphe lipstick in the shade Honey Love. This is one of my all-time favorite nude lipsticks. It's just a very pretty shade and it's a great formula. And then the final step of lips is just gonna be to take this Artist Color Pencil in the shade Endless Cacao and do some lip contouring with this. And I'm gonna focus this in the Cupid's bow and the center of the bottom lip right here. Just makes my lips look a lot more fuller than they actually are. Went ahead and did my brows really quick because I, once again, almost forgot to do them. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and do my final step now, which is just to bring back my little birthmark right here. So this is the finished look, you guys. I love the way the eyes came out. I was very nervous that it was going to end up being a pink eye look, but this is definitely what I was going for. It's so festive. It's so fun for the holiday season. It's red, but it's not like a candy cane. You know how it can sometimes look like that, which is like reds and whites? This one is so much more than that, and I'm so happy with the way it came out. That shimmer shade that we used on the lid is so perfect for the holiday season. I'm convinced that if that's the only shadow that you use on your eye, you would be good to go because it has so much packed into it. It has like golds and reds and oranges and just, it looks like Christmas lights. You know, it looks like a Christmas tree. Everything just came out so beautifully and I'm so freaking happy that we did not have any train wrecks in this video. <laughs> so if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure if you have not already that you are subscribed to my channel and that you hit the little bell so you are always notified when I upload a new video. Let me know what kind of eye looks you guys will be wearing this holiday season. If you're going to do some purples, some blues, some greens, some reds, I would love to know. And I believe that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. I know that I did, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.